The Sunday Swap V3 protocol is right around the corner, and I've been given an insider look at the V3 white paper to give you the highlights. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Late Game Crypto. My name is Josh, and I'm here to help you find digital liberty in the complex world of crypto. Remember that anything you hear in any of my videos is not to be taken as financial advice, do your own research, and own your own decisions. Sunday Swap is one of the many projects that has gone criminally underappreciated on my channel, especially for somebody that contributes back to the Cardano community so much farther beyond just the Sunday Swap protocol. So when Pi reached out to me to see if I'd do an exclusive breakdown of the V3 white paper that only a handful of community members have gotten access to, it was a no-brainer for me. Now, I'm looking at like 22 pages of technical literature here that has been written by somebody that is smarter than me by a mile. So we're going to try and go through here and give the highlight breakdowns at least as far as I can understand them. The first big change is that Sunday Swap protocols are going to be upgrading from Plutus V1 to Icon, which has become a crowd favorite coding language in the Cardano community. Icon is a functional programming language that is a lot more like Rust, so it's accessible to a heck of a lot more developers than Plutus was, and it's completely compliant with Cardano. This means two things. First, it means that the Sunday Swap protocol is going to be much more upgradable into the long-term future of this project, and we'll be able to onboard more developer talent from different places. But also, it means that Sunday Swap smart contracts are not going to be having such a heavy load on the Cardano blockchain. Which is a really big freaking deal for some people. It's just one less protocol that is using smart contracts that is on the old standards of the ecosystem. So this is pretty positive here. Now, I don't think that I can rightfully label this issue as theft per se, but there is an issue with how swap contracts are processed on old standards within the Cardano blockchain. It's kind of a relatively niche exploit where miners can go in and reorder transactions in a way that benefits them. So if somebody comes in with a much larger transaction, then a miner can go in and reorder those transactions to put their own transaction first so that that larger transaction pumps the price of the token that they just purchased. Now, this is in part because of a limitation on the Cardano blockchain with Plutus V1 scripts only really being able to process two to four transactions per batch max. But under Sunday V3, we're going to be able to process 37 transactions per batch. Not only does this speak to greater scalability, which I'm sure you're all most excited about, but it also makes this exploit a heck of a lot less desirable and more difficult to execute when you're having to sort through all of those transactions. The white paper identifies a few different other ways of addressing this issue, but I thought that this one would probably be most exciting to you guys. Sunday Swap has taken some inspiration from AXO by enabling users to be able to customize their own trading strategies with more tools and features in this area. Interestingly enough, Sunday Swap has always been able to chain together orders to roll them into additional smart contracts ever since the implementation of Plutus V1 scripts, which they have used to implement features like a, a zapping feature. Based on the literature, it seems like they're taking this basic concept and innovating on top of it to create some of these new trading features. So in the foreseeable future, you'll be able to set up a DCA schedule on Sunday Swap or implement something like a, a trailing stop loss order that will sell a fraction of your portfolio every time the price drops by 10%, just as an example. I also think that it's really interesting that they're going to be implementing more strategic tools that allow liquidity providers to do different things with their liquidity positions. You will be able to pre-program liquidity to be deposited or withdrawn depending on different price points that are hit 
on the Sunday swap market, or you'll be able to pre-program the ability to swap between different pools in order to optimize yield according to estimated trading volumes. I'm not aware enough about the greater industry to tell you if these tools exist anywhere out there in DeFi, but I can tell you with like 80% certainty that these kinds of tools for liquidity providers specifically do not exist anywhere in Cardano. I absolutely love it when people go out of their way to build out tools and services that don't exist out there in crypto, which is why I am very excited about the opportunity to be able to give crypto exposure to my retirement savings account through iTrust Capital. I continue to see insane levels of innovative tech being developed everywhere in Cardano, and I think this bull market is gonna be the one where people start to realize it. So it's gonna be a once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to put your retirement savings into crypto assets like ADA and 30 of the top cryptocurrencies in a retirement savings account. If you use my affiliate link down in the description below, you can get $100 towards your first account with iTrust Capital. It's free money. You may as well take advantage of it. And now let's go ahead and close out this video. Sunday Swap has been easily the most underrated DEX on Cardano for a very long time now. I've had friends that have made $100 to $200 a day consistently on Sunday Swap through the bear market. With these new features that they have coming to their protocol, I think they've got a real fighting chance as being established in the public eye as one of the major players in this ecosystem. But I wanna know what you think. Are you excited about any of these new features coming to Sunday Swap? Or are you excited about seeing how they innovate into the future? Let me know down in the comments section below or just leave an ice cream emoji for engagement. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any of my Cardano-based content every Tuesday and Thursday. As always, remember never to invest more than what you can afford to lose. Learn as much as you can about the space and play for the late game. Thanks so much for watching.